Now at five. Noah is predicting an above normal 2022 Atlantic hurricane season. We're combing through the new report. So this is no time uh, to relax if you live in Florida. And helping to get you and your family prepared. It's crucial to remember that it only takes one storm to damage your home, neighborhood, and community. Tonight, we break down NOAA's predictions for hurricane season 2022. CBS 4 is dedicated to helping you get ready in case we are ever in the path of a hurricane. Throughout our newscast, we'll break down today's NOAA hurricane outlook and things you can do to prepare and how much it'll cost you to buy what you need to prepare for a hurricane. Right now, let's begin with a closer look at the report. For that, we're checking in with our meteorologist, Dave Warren. Dave. Yes, they predicted a range uh, here, and that range for named storms is 14 to 21, 14 being average, 6 to 10 hurricanes, 7 uh, being average, and 3 to 6 major hurricanes. Three is average. It could be another season there where we exhaust the names if we do hit 21, just like last year 21 name storms, seven hurricanes, and four major hurricanes. Continuing to see this La Nina in the Pacific continuing. There was thoughts that it may try to work its way back to neutral, but that does not look like to be it's, uh, occurring now. And what that means for uh, wind in the Atlantic from the Pacific is you have less wind shear and the atmosphere is a little more unstable. So this can lead to above average hurricane seasons again in that main development area. Here is where we are watching, at least for the start of the season. Typically, this is where the storms are likely to develop here in the Gulf, in parts of the Caribbean and off the East Coast, not in that main development area yet. Uh, the good news is, is over that area, things are pretty quiet here uh, for at least over the next five days. So tropical weather outlooks coming in, not much developing here, but still uh, now is the time to prepare the numbers coming in and it looks like it is an above uh, above average season here. Of course, I'll take you through the rest of the week. We have Memorial Day weekend. I'll look at our local weather with a complete forecast. That's when I come back a little bit later. All right, Dave, thank you. And today, Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody held a press conference in Coral Gables to talk about hurricane season preparations. Number one, you can download our hurricane guide in English and Spanish. You can go to myfloridalegal.com. You can download the No Scam reporting app, but know your evacuation routes and shelters before hurricane season. Those shelters change from year to year, so what may have been your shelter last year may not be the closest shelter this year. Stock up on enough food, water, and supplies for at least a week. A quick thing to remember is for every person in your household, have one gallon of water per person per day. Make sure that any storm related products you buy are storm proof. AG Moody went on to warn people to beware of common scams like someone stopping by your house, demanding upfront cash payments in exchange for quick repairs and charitable scams. The state of Florida is helping you with the cost of preparing for hurricane season by offering a tax-free holiday. It goes from May 28th through June 10th. The holiday applies to many things, including reusable ice packs, flashlights, batteries, and fire extinguishers. The tax exemption does not apply to the repair or rental of any items. For a full list of qualifying items, go to our website, cbsmiami.com.